my daddy had a saxophone, and I used to toot around the house on my daddy's saxophone. I used to stand on my little potty and toot around on my dad's saxophone. And one day, he played me a Louis Armstrong record. And I don't remember this story. This is the story my daddy told me. And he said, I was five years old, and I said, Daddy, whatever he playing, I want to play that. And it's been history ever since then, you know? I mean, it's the culture. It's the culture of the city. It means so much because you've been a part of something that's been going on forever. So it's like, regardless of if you're one of the best or the worst, you're, you're leaving a mark in history as far as New Orleans culture is concerned. The people that introduced me to it and taught me so much about it, like Tuba Fads, Leroy Jones, Kermit Ruffins. When we were kids, Kermit used to come to my house in the truck every day with different tuba players and drummers and just teach all of us something, you know? So I feel that now it's my turn to give to the younger musicians. So it's like something that you have to pass down because it was passed down to you. You know, it's not like you're gonna be able to go to school and get it. I mean, you could go to school and get it, but it's not gonna be the same as getting it on the job training, is what I call it. Is it tougher to be a jazz musician in New Orleans now than it was three years ago? Or yes. Just... Yes, it is tougher. It's, 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 a, it's a bunch of reasons. The police, you know, they making it hard. I say the, the whole political system is making it hard, you know? I mean, everybody's not a, a suit and tie jazz musician, you know? It, it, some people like to be comfortable in t-shirts and jeans and play their music, but all of it still a part of the New Orleans culture. And, you know, the, the political system is making it hard because they trying to put so many taxes on it and making it hard for you to get permits, and permits a few thousand. The police making it hard because they're giving, giving you so much trouble, you know. Brass bands is a big part of the music scene in New Orleans. And the second line's been going on forever. I'm talking about forever. Now they're shutting down things that they usually didn't shut down, like a funeral for another musician. You know, like the usual thing is the day that that person dies, you play every day up until that person's funeral. And if the police, the police never stopped you. I mean, that, that's just something that was a given. But now they're making you get permits and all this and send you through all kinds of hassles couple thousand, few hundred here, a couple thousand there. That, that don't make no sense. You know, you're playing for a fellow musician, but you can't show the respect because you have to come up with so much money in order to do something that should just be given. And I mean, it's just a whole lot of different things. Katrina, the whole hurricane situation, that, that makes it hard because a lot of places where we were able to do all of this, you know, still kind of messed up. But other than that, I mean, we're gonna keep on pushing.